Hello, my name is Dawson Richard and this is my vlog 3 for the GLP project on being a host. Unlike other videos about vlog 3, I was not able to get an event with my partner, so mine is a little different than others. Mine will be on living in an American culture with a roommate who is from another culture. My roommate is a foreign student from China, and because of this, we had very little communication before we had met, and he also had told me that he knew very little English, um, which I at first found very troubling and worrisome. Um, I also wasn't sure what to think because I had very little knowledge of his culture. I was worried that the language barrier was going to be hard to overcome, and that I wasn't sure if we were going to fit well personality-wise. Everything about him was a mystery, which as such frightened me a little because he was going to be my roommate for a year. At first I wished deep down that he wouldn't have to be my roommate, not because I knew him personally, but my own group-based attributions that I had. After I first met him, it put me a little at ease to put a name to the face but I was still unsure about the situation. I wasn't sure about what his personality would be like since I knew very little about his culture. I also wasn't sure how I was going to be living with somebody who had very little knowledge of my own culture. When we first met, it was quite awkward. We had just met here where we were about to live together for the rest of the year. Once we got our greetings over with, and we started to get a feel for how our living situation would play out, this is where I began to notice little differences in our behavior that I could attribute to our own differences in cultural background. For example, at first he never unpacked his things. If he wanted something like a different article of clothing, he would dig through his luggage. I found this surprising until I learned the reasoning behind it. He had never used a dresser before, nor did he know its purpose. So, once I saw this, I decided to take him around the room and show him how I like to do things and the cultural norms for American culture, and he accepted what he liked and rejected what he didn't. For example, he liked keeping his clothes in the dresser, but disliked having all of our water stored in the fridge because for him, it was normal to drink it at room temperature. For him, he had already begun the acceptance stage of intercultural sensitivity. I was initially surprised that things like the use of dressers was a new concept for him because in my mind I couldn't imagine a culture where a dresser wasn't used. This is when I realized my own cultural sensitivity had been ethnocentric. We continued to discuss likes and dislikes in order to get a better feel for one another and I also noticed things about his personality that reflected his culture. No matter if he disliked something that was important for me, he did his best to alter his own behavior without complaint or informing me that it was a problem. This was difficult for me to adjust to because as far as my own cultural norms go, if you have a problem or an opinion on something, you make it known. I could tell that he was very uncomfortable with our situation and, I was, and he was trying his best to avoid any confrontation. I didn't realize the problem was not him, but it was me, because at the time, I was only in introducing him to American norms for things that would benefit me. I was trying to Americanize his behavior in fear of the differences between our own cultures and the potential in my mind that it could inconvenience me. My living situation not only helped to broaden my sense of difference between culture, but also inspired me to examine my own cultural competence. I learned the value that other cultures can bring, as well as the value of my own culture. I also learned the importance of self-examination and education because of attributions, even if they may not be known to the person, can have a profound effect on the ability of an educator to properly educate while respecting the culture of the students and expanding their own knowledge of culture. Overall, my meeting with my roommate was very beneficial for me and 
something that I can dwell on and learn from for the rest of my career as an educator. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching.